the devil will throw a curveball right in the middle of you getting your blessing. Don't fold. I need everybody to put in the comments below right now and say, don't fold. Keep giving God the praise. No matter what the situation may be, keep giving God the glory. Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones, baby. Let me tell you something. Number one, chosen ones, God gave you a gift. God gave you many different gifts and talents to use for his glory. He didn't give everybody that. That's number one. Number two, God gave you the anointing. And he gave it to you so strong, it's going to destroy every single yoke. Period. And number three, God chose you for the mission. If he wanted to choose them, he would have chose them. I don't understand where I'm coming from. But right in the middle of you getting your blessing. See that prime example. <laughs> Some scam likely calling my phone. <laughs> see, right when you in the middle of getting your blessing, the devil going to try to throw a curveball somewhere down the line. He's going to throw a, a knuckleball, a slider. He's going to throw a fastball. He might throw a changeup. But let me tell you something. Even if that, that curveball distracts you from getting your blessing right, what the devil don't know is that God sees everything. So let me tell you something. You might not have got that previous blessing, but God said, I got a bigger blessing in store for you. <laughs> Just for that curveball, I'm going to give you a bigger blessing. Room enough to where you can't even receive it. Let me tell you what the devil do. He jumps inside of people's spirits. To go against you. That's who the devil is. You have to understand that. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood y'all. Y'all need to get that out your head right now. We're wrestling against spiritual wickedness. In high places right now. Against principalities. That's what we're wrestling against. The evil wicked wickedness. And the evil doers of this world. That's what we wrestling with. So let them throw that curveball. You just don't fold. Because you have to know certain things happen because of the simple fact you are going higher. Certain things are just bound to happen because the devil don't want to see you win. So he going to jump in other people to go against you. People that you would never thought that would go against you. They going to turn their back on you. I'm just keeping it real. The more you get blessed, listen to me, y'all. The more God begins to pour into you, the more he begins to bless you over and over and over. Guess what? The devil going to throw a curveball. It's going to be in somebody's spirit, somebody's body language, the way somebody look at you, the way they talk about you. It's going to be a curveball somewhere down the line. People not going to really support you like they never do anyway. It's going to be a curveball somewhere down the line. You're supposed to get that job, but you got distracted at the job interview. You know what I mean? It's all kind of stuff. They showing favoritism. You're supposed to get a raise. You didn't get a raise because guess what? You know, they showing favoritism to everybody else at the job. They want to hire their brother and their sister and their uncles and aunties. And looking at you like you're just a, a regular person. Like you're a Decepticon, knowing that you are chosen more than anybody up in there. You're just supposed to open up your own business, but you got bills and bills and bills and bills to pay. You're supposed to go on vacation, but for some reason you got an emergency call. Now all that got shut down. You have to understand that those are called curveballs. But no weapon formed against you will prosper. No weapon formed against your next blessing will prosper in the name of Jesus. I need everybody to put that in, in the comments below and say no weapon formed against my next blessing will prosper. Because you got to speak on it. Because you already know once you start getting blessed, pe be prepared to see a new devil. You got to be ready. And I'm going to tell you how you be ready. Don't fold. When I mean don't fold, don't give up, don't give in, don't give the devil no room to come in. Period, point blank. Do not fold. 
Don't go toe to toe. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, do not go toe to toe. You don't go toe to toe with the devil. The Bible says resist the devil and he shall flee. And when I mean spiritual wickedness, oh, it's spiritual wickedness in high places. My previous video, I just, I'm talking about a homeowner. You own a nice home, drive a nice whip, but your evil spirit came out. That's what we wrestling against. Did I fold? No, I didn't fold. I held my peace and let the Lord fight my battles and victory was mine that night. He ended up apologizing. Oh, my bad, man. You know how Gemini is. Oh, my bad, man. I didn't mean to come at you like that. I said, man, you were smoking something. I didn't say nothing to him. I said, I kept my cool. I kept my peace. Because I already know my, my year anniversary is coming up. My one year on YouTube. The devil busy. People have been looking at me crazy all of a sudden. Go ahead and look at me crazy. People watching and viewing my stories. They're not saying anything. They're not going to show any love. They're watching. Oh, they watching. Family, friends, everybody. They watching. How is he doing this? How is he making it happen? Jesus. Somebody I'll always put my trust in since I was a little bitty boy. And that's something they'll definitely tell you. So let me tell you something, chosen ones. It don't matter about people's possessions and what they got right now. We're wrestling against their spirits. It don't matter how much money they got. We're wrestling against their spirits. You just don't fold. Resist the devil. Go around him. And I was telling myself, I said, I know my spirit ain't just saying this or just thinking this. When I feel like somebody got a bad spirit or and it's vexed my spirit, and I feel some kind of way. I'll be right 99.9% .9 of the time. When people with true demons come out, I can feel it. That's deep. When you can feel people's negative spirits. Every time I feel it on somebody, I always be right. Because I felt it on the last dude I'm talking about. I felt it on him first. And then it just happened recently. Truth came out. Don't fucking talk to me like that. I'm a grown ass man. And I just said not one wrong thing to him. Foul, nothing. Nothing negative, nothing. Y'all know I'm a positive person. You know I'm shining bright like a diamond. You know I have the anointing to destroy yokes. You know I got that glow. And the devil don't like that. Because you looking like the Grinch that stole Christmas. Don't get mad at me. Go with your first mind. When, I, when God said move, I should have moved a long time ago. God was like, move. I should have just, just moved. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody that's smiling in your face ain't going to have your back when you turn your back. That's just straight facts. But just know the devil will throw a curveball right in the middle of you getting your blessing. Soon I say that, scam likely want to call and try to interrupt my video. You ain't going to do that today, devil. I'm right in the middle of me getting my blessing. I need everybody to come on 11 right now. <laughs> it's my one year anniversary. I don't got time to sit down. I need everybody to hit that subscribe bell. We're almost at 24,000 subscribers. I need everybody to hit that subscribe bell because we're simply going higher. So you have to understand, every time is going to benefit you. When something about to benefit you, when you're about to get a blessing or overflow, whatever God about to really pour into your life, God about to really bless you, you have to expect a curveball coming out of nowhere. Don't fold. Because that next blessing is going to be bigger than the one that the devil threw the curveball at. It may have struck you out. That curveball, that knuckleball, and that slider, and that fastball, it may have struck you out. But let me tell you something. The next time it comes, do not fold. Keep giving God the praise.
Keep riding this thing by yourself. Trust me. Don't be afraid to walk alone. And watch that next blessing. It's going to be bigger than the blessing that you were supposed to get before. The devil thought he had me, but I sure got away. We the chosen ones. Don't fall.